Hi there, I'm Professor Barba, and I'm here to play with some Python lists as a new demo for you. I have here my uh, Jupyter dashboard, and I'm going to create a new notebook. Uh, cho I chose Python 3. Here's a new notebook for you. And uh, you can follow along this demo by going to the website tryjupiter.org. Try so let me type this out in a markdown cell. As a reminder, you can go to try dot jupiter with a y dot org and uh, follow along. Here is how it would look in uh, the tryjupiter.org website and you can open a new notebook in the same way as I have in my local Jupyter installation. But I will use my local Jupyter just in case this is on, on, on a website so there might be some Wi-Fi issues. I will lose my, use my local one. And this demo is to show you how to play with Python lists. Python has a very powerful data type that's called a list, the Python list. It's a sequence of values that can be numbers, strings, or even other lists. Um, suppose we have a long quote. A, I'm going to save that quote into a string. This is a quote that I like from uh, Seymour Papert. I've just pasted it into my, I had it in my clipboard, and so I've pasted it into this code, code cell. So here it is, a quote. And suppose that I were to apply the uh, split method on this string. So I could do quote dot split. And what do I get? I get, as you can see, a list. I recognize that it's a Python list because of the square brackets. And the elements inside this list are separated by commas. So the result of this split method is a list of all the words in the quote. And I could save that into another variable. Um, say quote words equals that and then I could print and I would see the same thing of course but just for kicks quote words and it's a list of all the words in the quote. Python lists are uh, similar work similar to strings in the sense that each element in the list has a position index and I can access the element with its position index and I could use slicing as well to access different uh, parts of the list. So suppose that we have a, um, let's see, let's create another list. Um, let's see, let's just show you another list just for completion. Let's call this list, we can call it fruits and I'm going to create a list of three names or three, three names of fruits, apple, banana, and orange. And I execute that cell to save uh, that list into the variable name fruits. And I could, for example, now ask Python to give me the length of that list with the len function. And it's three, I have three elements in the list. And if I were to access the first element, I would use square bracket zero because Python counts from zero. So there it is, apple. Uh, what else could we do? We could do uh, slicing and uh, I could access more than one element, zero to one. And here I have the same apple uh, first element because it's Slicing is not inclusive of the last index, so I could do 0 to 2 to get the first two elements. Uh, another thing that we could do with lists is add elements to the list, and I could use the list method called append. So for example, if I do um, fruits dot, the dot notation for a method, append, um, say, kiwi, I am going to now have added this new element. So if I print fruits, you'll see that I have a list now of four names of fruits with kiwi at the end. So that's a very useful thing to do with lists. What else can we do? We could check for list membership, and this is very powerful. So I could say, for example, um, inquire to Python is perhaps strawberry in my list. 
and I very close to English just use the keyword in and the name of the list strawberry in fruits shift enter false strawberry is not one of the names that I have in my list of fruits uh, well it's apple don't forget the quotes in fruits well, true, Apple is in my list of fruits. So checking for list membership is very close to plain English in Python. One last thing, we can modify elements of a list. So for example, I could, let's try to find what is the position index in the list of fruits with the index method of, uh, say, orange. Let's see, it gives me two. So the position index of orange is two. So obviously now, if I do fruits square brackets two, I should see orange. That's what we expect. But I could change that element. Let's say, I could say fruits two equals melon. And that is going to replace the element at position index two of the list fruits with the string melon. So now I could inquire, is melon in fruits? And I get true because now my list of fruits includes melon instead of orange. And that is a quick demo of playing with Python lists. I hope you liked it.